My rig needed more power. Let's check out this power management box by SV Boney. Welcome to SETI Astro. So I already have the DC USB hub box from SV Boney. And that is sufficient for the current setup. But you can see, I have, I have just a homemade strip heater controller here with like a, a janky 12 volt power supply and probably not the, the most ideal here. And if I want to remount all my solar observing stuff up here, I'm just gonna need more power and more, more connections. So I have here their uh, newer power box here. Now this has plenty of controls like the other one. Importantly, it has some PWM controlled outlets for the, the strip heaters. There's even spots for uh, external controls for them. A different regulated supply. Plenty of other power outlets for everything I'm, I'm gonna need. And this little adapter actually goes where the, uh, the finder scope goes. So I should be able to, to mount it pretty well onto the telescope itself. And in the bottom, uh, we have the external temperature probe, the computer USB interface, DC power, but I'm gonna use my, my actual DC power for that. Some extra just uh, power cables here. Quick user manual. But if it was anything like my other power box, it's just going to be a, it's just going to be really seamless in order to hook it up to the computer and, and, and get it running. I am excited about the external detectors here. Pretty cool. And what is really cool, this uh, little external detector is temperature and humidity. It has a humidity sensor in here as well uh, to use in the calculations for the, the strip heaters. Well, this one is is just temperature for putting underneath the, the strip heater so it could actually have a, a nice little feedback while it's maintaining the, the temperature for your telescope and accessories. And a nice little instruction booklet, it is ASCOM supported, which is really cool for a little power box. So I am really excited to get this uh, hooked up and, and rolling here. Now everyone's most fun portion of this hobby, rewiring your uh, OTA for new gizmos and gadgets. All right, I have the new box installed here. I actually ran the sensors out. One is under the OTA, that's the temperature humidity one. And then the temperature one itself is actually in here to check the temperature of the primary mirror with the, with the heating strips there. And then I ran the old one out uh, up here, I'm, I got nothing hooked to it right now, uh, but it will come in handy when I gotta attach stuff up here on the upper side of the OTA. So let's uh, turn on everything and uh, check it out. Well, I'm here on my telescope and um, I got the manual here. All right, it says to go to svbunny.com and go to support and then software driver. And then this is the SV241 Astro Power Box, so better just download it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and extract the zip and install the driver. And I'm gonna just say run anyway. Okay, it should, should be installed. Aside from the ASCOM driver we just uh, downloaded here, I just wanted to make sure that the hub itself's working tonight. I see my camera's connected there. The scope or the mounts connected. PhD can connect. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, start connecting things. I'm also going to download this uh, hub control app. And I'm not sure if it has an installer or if this is just going to run it straight away. And yes, I need to download this other thing. Okay, and after that extra net, Microsoft net thing downloaded, we got uh, this little hub control output right now. It's on COM11. So now I can control this. all the switches on. Uh, it has my temperature, humidity. The lens temperature is gonna be the temperature, in my case, it's the primary mirror. So uh, cool, I got, I got the hub control up and running. 
And I think with all the rewiring, I may have missed hooking up my moonlight focuser. So I got to run back out to the telescope and uh, double check that. There we go. For some reason, I didn't uh, I didn't have the power hooked up to it. So all's good now. And unlike Nina, uh, Sequence Generator Pro doesn't have any support for the hub, and that's why I needed to uh, download the the hub here directly. And I should be able to just adjust the heaters now with this, get temperature actually get monitored, adjust the pulse width modulation of each one separately, and you can see the power draw down here. So I could have them like all the way max and then slowly adjust the voltage or keep the voltage higher and adjust the pulse width modulation. It's just kind of two, two means to the same end. At the end of the day, it is the, the wattage that you're going to want. And with the, the temperature and humidity, it's, it's telling you where the dew point is, what temperature you're currently sitting at, things like that. So that's, that's really nice too. So I think I'm ready for a, a night of observing here. It'll be really cool to, to try it out. And now I have all those additional ports and power from the, the smaller hub for adding on my um, solar telescope here in, in the next couple days. Well, I'm here in the next morning and this was, this was just great. I was able to look at, you know, the, the temp of my primary mirror, where the dew point was. It was interesting to watch the humidity rise as the temperature fall, but the dew point stayed the same, which which makes sense. I mean, the dew point is how much moisture is actually in the atmosphere. But what what a great little little power hub this turned out to be, and the the beauty of it was it just works. Like <laughs> that's what I would expect. I, I didn't have to like I didn't have to unplug and plug in my USB devices a couple times before the hub saw it or anything weird like that. Uh, so the, the USB hub portion of it, it, it just worked. It saw all my devices, no problems. And uh, now, now I'll have the other one too to, to really put some power up. And yes, before people already go, hey, why don't you use Nina? I'm using Sequence Generator Pro. I have Nina installed. SGP just works for me and I haven't tried to learn a new acquisition software yet. So... <laughs> So that's why I'm not using Nina right now, um, just because I've been using SGP for years. But if you want to get your hands on the same little hub I got, um, I'll have a link in the description. And uh, I'll have a link for that other other little hub I have too, which which was great. It's, it's you know essentially a USB hub with 12 volt power outs. But this one has the ASCOM control and the temperature detectors, humidity detectors, all that fun stuff. Please comment, like, and subscribe.